Well, Dr. Melnick, um, you told us in another interview that you're doing sedation dentistry. Uh, can you shade a little bit light on really what that does, what advantages that has? Uh, is it in any shape and form dangerous to the patient? Um, you know, any side effects which maybe down the road, you know, one doesn't really want? Um, tell us a little bit about it, because I know that not too many dentists are doing it. Um, would you please? Sure. Uh, glad to glad to uh, explain it in a little more detail. Well, how much? There are literally millions of people that, for one reason or another, have uh, developed fear of going to the dentist. I wonder why. And <laughs> you, yeah. Well, you, you go listen to a stand-up comedian. All they have to do is say the words "root canal," and people start laughing. Um, so it's not unusual for people to avoid going to the dentist for many years, and it does have enormous health consequences that go beyond just their oral health. We have been both trained as hospital-trained dentists, so both Dr. Miles and I at one time have worked in the operating room and have done uh, general anesthesia and IV sedation. But out in private practice, what we have found is that there is a technique involving oral sedation where we literally give people pills that are crushed up. They either swallow them or we put it under their tongue and it's absorbed through the GI tract and patients are put in a state of relaxation. They um, will be able to respond to requests like to open and to close but patients will often fall asleep during the procedure. It is safe. It's extremely effective. And we work as a partner with the patients to get them comfortable. It works extremely well for patients who historically are difficult to numb, who have uh, maybe a high gag reflex. The patients are, again, conscious, although may fall asleep during care, but one of the great advantages is the following day, one of the side effects of the medication is a property called retroamnesia. They will literally forget 90% of the treatment visit from the day before. And I can tell you from experience, patients love that. They don't want to remember the dental care, but we're able to get through an enormous amount of treatment in one or two dental visits. So we wow. have been literally able to expand our practice, not only from the patient base that we're seeing, but we've expanded it to those patients who have been avoiding the dentist for five years or more. It's been wow. a blessing for those patients. So basically it's not just about, number one, you feel no pain, and um, time seems to be going faster. So basically, because when, when you don't have this... Um, sedation dentistry, there's only so long you can subject a person to sit in a dental chair, I assume, right? Um, That's correct. But with this procedure, Absolutely. he can sit four or five hours or whatever it might be, and he doesn't feel anxious. Because when you're sitting in a dental chair, uh, I've never sat four or five hours, but, you know, you sit an hour even for a normal uh, cleaning, uh, which is usually rather heavy in my case. You know, you start counting sheep, you know, kind of, damn it, when is this going to be over? I have to open my mouth. And you're telling me that that kind of doesn't happen with sedation dentistry. That's correct. You absolutely lose track of time, uh, but you are relaxed. You are comfortable. There are times that you'll fall asleep. Sometimes you'll wake up. But at all times, patients are extremely relaxed. So it's a very effective uh, way to go. I, I've literally had patients, when, when we've had more than one treatment session, when we've asked them how to go the first time, they go, it's the only way to fly okay. when you have dental care. So well, you would go as far as your patients, actually, it looks like, going as far as saying time flies when you're having fun. Well, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> there are patients that we have, they wouldn't have dentistry any other way. Wonderful. So, and the patient is still conscious that he can actually ask you questions or make a comment while you, let's just say he needs to go to the bathroom, I don't know, you know, uh, there's things actually still happening? 
Yeah, patients will communicate with us to let us know if they do need a potty break. It's absolutely fine to do, and we wheel them over to the restroom, let them do their business, and bring them back, and we can start all over again. Well, it looks to me like a, a, a definitely a good thing, because who would want to go four or five times to a dentist to fix, let's say, whatever work has to be done, if you can actually do it in one time? Um, whatever cost is involved there, which I'm sure is there, but probably not super astronomical, uh, is probably worth right there, not having to go leave work or whatever it is for two, three, and four times, and uh, sit there and, well, as I said, open the mouth and uh, and, uh, and and count cheap. So, sounds like a great thing to me. Um, I can see why patients like it. And so you do say, you know, there's no, you know, other side effects after that, uh, you know, which, you know, long-term side effects, you know, something, uh, you know, nothing there. Nothing long-term. Uh, obviously, they need to have someone drive them to the office and drive them home. They uh, take the rest of the day off and... Um, don't sign any uh, legal papers or make any big decisions that day. But the following day, they can go back to work or do any full activity, and they're absolutely uh, fine. They're absolutely wonderful, and they forget even they wear the dentist. Do they forget the bill, too, by the way? Pardon me? Do they forget the bill also with this treatment? Do they forget the bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we 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 have third party financing if they if they need help with with paying off the the treatment. No, I was just saying, do they forget that they ever paid the bill and keep paying it twice? Maybe they say, oh look, doc, I didn't pay you yet. Oh, oh that no. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, that's never happened. But 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 we wouldn't take a double payment. That that doesn't well, work. You know. it, you know, as they said, uh, a whole lots of comedian out of a job, and I try to be funny. Well, Dr. Malik, thanks for letting us know. I'm sure that's very informative uh, to the people out there, knowing that there is actually something which gets them over their dental phobia, which to a very high degree, uh, most of us have it. You know, even though dentistry doesn't work or uh, doesn't hurt originally anymore, I've noticed that. I had a root canal maybe a year ago, and frankly, it didn't hurt anymore. But uh, the point is, we still have this, you know, you know, this, this phenomena which we feel it is, this fear, and boy, if you can overcome it and sit there confident for a couple, two, three hours, get a lots of work done, looks a great thing. Thanks a lot.